Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we should have said, or maybe decided first who should welcome to this one. Uh, th this is going to be a really interesting video because we, me and Matthias, we've just been uh, talking about the, 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 the new stuff that we are going to discuss in, in this month's video. And um, let's be frank up front, there's not much new content uh, available, um, but there's a few things <laughs> I guess you can get um, or understand it from the mood that we're in, that we're excited to talk about a few of those points. So um, let's try again. Hey. <laughs> hey how are you doing matthias all good I'm very good nikolai and uh yeah i look forward to welcome everyone to 2310 uh we're nearing christmas months and uh <laughs> um yeah as you said nikolai this month really doesn't have a lot to offer on the windows side um there's been lots of development on android and, and, and mac os yeah. and ios and so forth but on the windows side not so much but uh that's fine and that's what we usually cover. And like we have said in a few other videos, we should probably find someone who's really good at those other subjects or, or platforms and do videos on them as well. But what's the first thing that we want to talk about today? It's the new homepage, right? Uh, super excited. And like we were just joking a little bit about earlier was that uh, in my tenant, I have it set to the What's it like default uh, white background, not dark mode, uh, default, uh, default mode. Um, and I'll be honest, the, the, the first thing that I thought in my head when, when I saw it is like, oh, cool, interesting. But it kind of gives me the vibes of the old silver light portal. Silver and I'm light probably going to be, you know, shamed or anything for, for saying that. But But that was my absolute first experience when i saw it mostly due to the colorings and stuff and, and some icons in there um but if you really want to you know dig into the actual sort of tiles in there maybe we should call it like that uh the status one is still there hasn't really been changed that much it has been uh, improved from the sort of graphics perspective that it's easier to see a few set of numbers that's uh, really really good um scrolling down we get get more out of intune i don't know what that is a few blogs for instance yeah that's that's convenient i would say um a documentation and training what do you feel about that matthias is yeah, that where yeah, you would yeah. um you would go to find the documentations that could definitely be one way to do it um i usually <laughs> i google it um, I'm sure to say <laughs> so, but, does, right? but I usually Google whatever I want because then I get directly into the document that says something about what I need to look for. But, but yeah, if, if you're new to Intune, learning path, Microsoft Intune fundamentals, start there. Uh, I think it's good to have a, a quick link here in, in the dashboard, actually. Yeah. But like we were saying before, right? I mean, it, it's hard to, um, I think this this new homepage is a huge improvement to what we had before, uh, but it's it's always a hard sort of balancing act to figure out what fits everyone, right? I mean, for instance, the, the spotlight section over there, in my opinion, to me, it would have made much more sense if I had either a message center the latest five items or anything like that. Or if we had multi-admin approval turned on, I would see all my requests in there that I may need to approve. Something that I can, you know, when I go into the portal immediately, I can take action on it, right? I don't need to navigate through the different blades and such. So, um, but I mean, <clears throat> yeah, you can't, you can't satisfy all uh, desires, right? Um, and you know what, Nikolai? Microsoft actually wants us to give the feedback, right? So let's give them some feedback. What I Should actually do it on of, the yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do let's do it here. And let's, <laughs> let's, give, let's just <laughs> give them the recording. Uh, they they love this this show. So um, I was actually thinking here, it, it would make sense if you had like an integration to to do. Uh, if if you are planning your assignments, yeah. or it could be uh, ADO DevOps, like you're doing Scrum or or something like that, where you could actually look at the assignments you have for the day, 
So you easily just could go into one portal. You could mm. see, what do I need to do? You have a description, what you need to do, and maybe you would, would even have um, kind of uh, prepared your work with the URLs to, maybe you should go to endpoint security, make sure you are aligned, you have cleaned up whatever you're not using anymore, or even modifying some uh, ASR rules or, or whatever. What is your daily tasks? Put them in here, mm -hmm. make it easy, right? I'm totally with you. And you know what just popped into my head? I mean, what if this start page was customizable, like the Azure portal sort of dashboard, right? I mean, if if you don't need, if you've been working with Intune for many, many years, you don't really need the link to the documentation or, or fundamentals or such. Or if you already purchased the Intune suite, well, you don't want to see how it's being introduced into other customers or or explore it, right? You already know about those things. Imagine if you could just customize this whole view and like have your approvals in there or have your to-dos or your tasks or have your um, defender for endpoint sort of security task in there. I mean, whatever you would like, right? That would be our feedback, I think. This is a fir uh, first sort of improvement uh, going, for going <laughs> forward, I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think being able to customize this or, or move around the blades, add some other blades and then integrate into other parts of the, um, of the service, that would be really, really cool and very helpful, I would say. Mm. Right? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> that could be nice. But uh, Nikolai, what we're doing here is what's new in Intune. So you could go yeah. here, you could uh, look into what's new in this edition of Intune. And you could simply scroll down the th feed here and 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 read all about it yourself. And that's what kind of the show is not about. We will show you exactly what's new in Intune on the Windows space and what has changed in the UI and how to use it. And that's why we are doing this right. And one other tab, the feature in development, is actually very cool as well to, to look at. Uh, sometimes because you get information prior to what is coming. So just a shout out to uh, what this uh, new dashboard is actually doing quite well. I, I thought for a second there that you were going to say, so just click on this link in the future and don't watch our videos. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a own goal or something like that. No, 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 no. Of course not. No. But there's uh, something else, at least, that has been uh, released with 23.10. And we can now import and export setting catalog policies. And I am honestly really excited about this because I would like to be able to back up and restore in a, what should we say, like, like officially supported way, right? So, and now I can programmatically set this up because now the feature is there to import and export. We could do this before as well by simply just extracting the whole configuration of a profile, then creating a new one. But now this feature is built in natively to the product. And what does it look like? Can you show us, Matthias? Yeah, and I, I, I just simply want to kind of say something because backup and restore, Nikolai, if you think of that in the old days, you would think of having a whole copy of something and then restore it, right? Mm -hmm. When we deal with these policies in Intune, it's not a real backup, it's actually a export. And uh, I get smacked like when I <laughs> when I say backup, so that's why I'm also trying to to get this further out, saying it's not a backup as such because there is no backup of Intune, but we can so let's export say our policy. Point in time restore, right? Yay. Much better, right? Much better. So what's new here is, um, as you said, oh, let's just zoom in. You will see if you go to devices, to the platform, and you go to the configuration profiles that there is a new tab in town. Formerly, there was this new policy, right? Now we have an import policy. That's a cool thing. I think even before, it wasn't even like a drop down menu item, right? It was just a button that you clicked on and then the blade appeared. Yep. So there's different options to select from. There is. 
And the other thing that is, is this context menu over here, which is a kind of buggy in my environment, is that before you had a duplicate, you had a delete, but now you have this export JSON. What happens when I click it? It's actually going to ask me if I want to download that file. And basically it's it's it simply opens up a, um, I need to just delete all this crap in my <laughs> download folder. <laughs> Power Wars. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's simply downloading, downloading the JSON format here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what it does. And uh, when we've done that, well, guess what? You can, you can simply import that as well. And let's try how that actually looks like. And let's give it a name, test import, test, save it. Oh, something turned red there for a second. It did, but it actually imported it because, yeah, I think that it was too fast to actually uh, tell me that uh, you need to put something in here. But uh, basically now we can export policies and we can import them again. And I think that is something we have really missed. Oh yeah, certainly. This is definitely gonna be a huge game, game changer for this. Yeah. Certainly. Cool, so stay tuned. Absolutely. And final, but maybe not at the least, at least. Oh, I don't know how you say that in in English. Ah, whatever. Let's get to the to the case. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the case. So one thing is that when we get new features in Engine, we get new UI stuff. Um, it it turns out to be a public preview, something like that, right? That's the beginning of of something new. So in 2307, Nikolai and I we went through the reports of uh, compliance and settings. And uh, how to see that, um, you could go into device compliance, you go into reports, and then you have the settings compliance and the policy compliance. And here you'll be, be able to, yeah, simply generate what's, what's in your environment uh, just in time when you want the information, not a pre-generated, and you have to wait like 24 hours before it's populating again. So that's that's quite nice. And the new thing is it's it's GA now. So no no more public preview for these two reports. Cool. Less and less previews. Right? More? No? <laughs> I, I guess some previews are faster to go GA because it's it's just well developed, well tested. And uh, yeah, it it's it's nice. But what if you click on the drop down menu there? Oh, you want to yeah. show them something here. Okay. So you just said well developed and tested and such, which it may be. <laughs> but one thing that really annoys me is if you have a UI experience like this, where's the spaces like Android for work? Yeah, I understand what that is, but come on, give me give me a display name type of thing, right? Put a, a space in there, make it more visually appealing for me, make it easier for me to read it faster. I was sitting there looking, 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 okay, Oh, there's Windows. No, that's Windows X profile. Okay, where? Oh, Windows 10 emulator. There it is. Nice. And maybe, you know, I don't know. <laughs> don't don't do it like this. It feels like a developer has just added in some some, you know, backend portal values that it's going to filter on. And maybe that's what they need to use in with the new change to the React um um React based um experience we have in the portal, but um yeah, this doesn't sit well with me. I, I would like to have it a bit more uh, a friendly user, a friendly name of these entries where I would select them from. I can definitely figure it out, but you know, it's the, it's the tiny details I would say like this. Yeah, and and I I'm also curious, Nikolai, because I really wanted to ask you this question: What is Windows eighty one and later? Because I mean, we are oh, yeah. in the future here. <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> Windows 81. Okay. I mean, I don't know about Windows 12 or if there's anything like that, but you know, 
or there's ever gonna be, but I'm really excited now and curious about Windows 81. Yes. Even Windows Phone 81, right? <laughs> I mean, we Maybe. could probably sit here for the next half hour and make fun of this, but we, we, we probably shouldn't because that's not really interesting. But I think you as the audience here, you, you get the point on, on the type of feedback that we have here. It's um, It's not fully polished yet, I would say. Mm. But I, I would suspect it has something to do with the actual graph call that's being made in the, in the back end. Um, but then you can have a translation table. If you are coming with this, well, this is what you should then put into the request. Um, but yeah, maybe we will get that in the... Uh... Oh, now it's actually GA. So, well, in the future, perhaps. Who knows? Mm. Cool. Yeah, and there's and that's good, it. Uh, that's all, right? With the data, but uh, nevertheless, that's not part of the report as such. That's just data in the back end. But uh, yeah, I like that was names there. Easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, like we said, there wasn't that much that has been new for this month with um, twenty three ten, but. We will be back in about a month's time. Hopefully there's much more content and new features to cover. So until then, thank you very much and goodbye. Yeah. Talk to you later. Yes.